Hey, Sashi. <laughs> Stacky. You sound so upset. Because I am. This Wanna know why? This is the boogeyman. Don't play it if you're a wimp. And don't make money off of it. That's not why I'm upset, though. It's because this is the third time we're playing this through. It's about 45 minutes. Oh. Everything keeps breaking. Okay. Here we go. We got this. Uh, your phone. Your phone is ringing. Uh, are, are, are you sleeping? There I am. Cool. Your nose is still pointy. Yeah, it is. Still a weapon. Yeah, it is. Just like face plant. No. No, I was just thinking about stuffs. Uh, about what stuffs, sir? Uh, stuffs that are too terrible. How is your suspect doing? Yeah. Just, uh, just mine. I thought it was your suspect are, too. I don't. I can't talk. Um, okay. Well, he's uh, still not out yet. It's been three hours. We've been sitting here for three hours. So I'm sure he'll be here soon. <laughs> but man, it's been a it's been a journey. Also, oh, I'm spitting everywhere. That's just... Are you really- you're really not gonna answer? No. I'll call them back later. Why do you even have a phone? Because- You never answer your calls. I'll call them back later. Anderson was groaning about it, you know? Yeah, he's no point in calling me. Oh, oh, look at that. He, he, sir, he's coming out. Oh, that's great. Uh-oh. Um, Uh-oh. What's going on? He, uh... He has a woman behind him, and I think she came in after. You think she's with him? I don't know. Th this can't- this- okay. Well, this can't be good. We'll be able to arrest- arrest the guy like this. Won't we, though? Let's go. Tell Squad B and C we'll meet him up in the at- we'll, we'll get him up in the alley up ahead. I got out my thermos cannon. We're ready to go. I wonder how important this guy actually is, that he needs three squads to- Get him. I mean, um, what if he's actually the boogeyman? This guy that we caught is actually like the boogeyman. He's like, you know what? You caught me, and he like remembers every single time we've done this, and he's like, you caught me three times, and I'm really <laughs> mad at you. No, this isn't Undertale. It doesn't remember stuff like that. Oh, okay. Hopefully. I have Ublex Thermos Cannon. It doesn't look like a gun. It just looks like a thermos. Oh, hold on a second, sir. Are you really gonna use that thermos? She might be a civilian. Mm -hmm. We really should wait until he's alone. Nope. Are you gonna take responsibility if he kills her? Didn't think so. I'm taking my thermos as I'm going, and I'm going. I can't. Okay, bye. 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 You're coming with me. Oh, hi. I, I the, told you to stop the thermos, shooting your thermos. The thermos has been shot. Strikes again, a cold, ruthless detective shoots down yet another criminal, civilian, woman, forever traumatized. Yeah. This is this guy's voice now. I don't, I don't care anymore. We tried to ask Keith oh. Baring, the detective responsible, to shed us more light. But he stood at the station entrance, smoking a cigarette, and told us this. The visual entrance is that way. Seems like he sees truth seekers like us as unwanted guests. No, that's right. Well, what do you know? Doesn't say a word about the criminal, nor that the woman was a prostitute, or how we took some injuries of our own in the gunfight. Oh crap! It's okay, we basically, we, basi we basically have it memorized, right? No. <laughs> Don't kill me. Whatever. Well, what do you know? Uh, yeah, we got that. Doesn't say a word about criminal uh, okay. reporters, am I right? 
I can re gossip myself. Don't you be reading out loud for me. This has, this. Keith, you're a real hit with these guys. This is the fourth article by my account. I'm oh, Jelly. Boy, I'm sorry. Just tell me what you call me in here for. Your stupid music is bleeding my ears. Your thermos is Sky a has the best walk ever. I'm a lot less enthusiastic about it this time, but I love okay, it so, so much. Okay, so I called you in here because your thermos is a problem. But good news, I'm giving you a vacation. Oh, thanks. Great. So you, no. can't, you can't traumatize any more women with your thermos. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a month vacation, in fact. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just started thinking. Not a chance! I don't need my thumb in my work! Well, you just blew the mic, so you're fired. Oh. But, um, <laughs> you got a good lackey, right? Leave it to him to stretch your wings. A little bit. No, I don't trust Aaron. I mean, Eric. <laughs> I don't trust Aaron. It was Aaron. Um, but I'm. Which Aaron? But I'm ordering you as your superior, and if you don't want to travel, consider this it Aaron? as a rest. Aaron in my wallpaper? No, it's not Aaron anymore. Also, it's 12.05 or 12.06 o'clock. Yeah. I noticed that the first time. Cool. I just completely lost my train of thought. I don't trust Dara to do nothing. He doesn't deserve my thermos. It's so great. It's, but, I don't want to be under house arrest. But you aren't fit to bear the brunt of your thermos. Yeah, I am. Um, I can't handle... I can handle the rest as well, pal. Thanks. So go on ahead. Take a break from the crime scene. No. But I, I ordered you to, to do it. And you're not going to be twiddling your thumbs, so just, here, take this. Want a vacation. There's this old castle. That spoopy old castle. They're promoting it as a tourist spot. Oh. There's short test run Boy. two weeks from now. Go. I'm ordering you. Truth is, me and the wife, we're going to go. But I say you do it, because how many years has it been for you two? Uh, Helena will be ecstatic. Yeah, she will. She'll be so annoying about it. Now put down the thermos and the notebook. Okay. You won't be needing them. Not at all. Spend time with your wife, not your thermos. But, Come on. But I love my thermos. Go home. Fine. Just go home. Leave. Just one thing. I'm gonna need that thermos back for my morning beverage. And turn off that blurring music. You can hear it in the hallway. Fine, I'm walking over here and turning it off. But only- SLAM! Okay, he's gone. Let's turn on the music again. <laughs> Welcome home! How was no, work? Not again, not again! Oh, same as usual. Why do you seem annoyed with my voice? I thought you married me because of it. I'm annoyed at everything. Oh, well, you, you do look tired. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You lie! No. Oh! I mean to tell you, yeah, we got a fantastic present. I mean, I did, but it's for us. It's for Mr. Anderson's wife. That's great. Yeah. Would you like to be in charge of buttons? Because I'll just break everything. Okay. She's so cute and small. Look at these, honey. Tour invitations. Three-day stay at an old castle. Won't that be wonderful? Oh, yeah, Doug already told me. He gave me time off for it, too. A forced vacation. I must add. It's freaking terrible. Well, if you aren't too tired, I'd like to go. Just by myself. You know, you can come if you want, but I find it'd be a better time by myself, because you're too mopey. Yeah, yeah, I am. If you're going, then I'm going. I'll, I'll tell our travel agent that we're going on vacation. Thanks, honey! I can't wait! This guy's voice is lost now, because we've done this so many times. It should be the opposite, but it's not. I got some work to take care of. You go bed without me. Good night. Good night. Bye. Got to spend time with that thermos of his. My thermos was confiscated. All right, Stevie. <laughs> Oh, uh, the bearings! I've been waiting for you! I'm Stevie Small, the tour conductor. I'll be a guide. Thanks. Cool. Now he's uh, aboard the... We'll leave it in half an hour. <laughs> wow, what a ship! The five-hour trip to the island should go by in no time. Yeah, because I'll be sleeping. I'm going to go introduce myself to the others. Have fun. What about you? No, oh, I'm going to stay here like a grump. I'll head out later. Go ahead. I'll catch up to you. Alright. Okay. 
Jerk. Bye. What? We already looked at everything. Nothing's in. Nothing's yeah, in. It's, it's can't it's sleep. Yeah. Run it almost. Murder Sophie. Hey, little lady. Don't just swing the door open like that. Be more careful. No. Try looking where you're going before you start yelling at people, young lady. Do you know who I am? No. I am Sophie Grundler. No. Nasty tongue on you, huh? You bet. I was born with it. Just like my mom was red. Or maybe it was Maybelline. <laughs> hey now, Sophie. Hey now, Sophie. What are you doing? Da, 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 da. Hey now, <laughs> Sophie. What are you doing? Stop hey. harassing old men. <laughs> <laughs> hey now, Sophie. What are you doing? This guy almost swung the door right into my face, Papa. That's awful. You said something rude to him, didn't you? Come now, apologize. But, Papa... No! Sophie? <sighs> Duh! I'm sorry. I'll be more careful from now on, old man. Oh, come on, Papa. Let's go get ice cream. Okay. <laughs> You're paying! My apologies for that. Is she a daughter? Yes, my one and only precious. Unfortunately. <laughs> Full of energy, that's for sure. Oh yes, she's very excited for the trip today. I'm glad we could go. Excitement is one thing, but you should stop telling her you should tell her to stop yelling at people <laughs> for almost murdering, because if it's sassy to the wrong guy, it could be trouble. Yeah, as you got a point, but I think it's much better than keeping all of her dissatisfaction to herself. Like she used to do. Back in the Anyway. Back in the academy. <laughs> the academy. <laughs> I'm Richard Grundler. That was my daughter, Sophie. Nice, nice, glad to meet you. Uh, Keith Barron, I'm a jerk. Did you come alone? Uh, no, I'm with my wife, who is jealous of her thermos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. I hope we both have a great trip. I'm glad of well, your problems with your marriage. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You're <laughs> Okay, these are all guest rooms. Try to rob stuff. Let's eavesdrop on their converse eavesdrop on their conversation. Mmm, ice cream. Papa, let me have a bite. Here you are. <laughs> but don't put on too many pounds, alright? I I can exercise it off. I'm fine. How do you you, you just said that because you know I'm insecure about that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hello, my third uh, wife. Keith, hi. I skipped through that. I'm sorry. Dude, this is this is Shelly, whatever Shirley. her name is. Shirley. Okay, I'm gonna. I said it last time, but I'm gonna say it again. David's husband. I'm with wife. Who af? Yes, that is David's husband. Yes. 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 I'm really upset that I should probably throw. Nice. I should, <laughs> I'm really upset that our um, genuine reactions to the fact that the Sandman people are here mm -hmm. weren't lost. Yeah. Because we were yeah, like, yeah. oh, wow, that looks like Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Oh, my God, it is Sophie. Oh, my God, it's Sophie's dad. Oh, my God, it's David's fiance. <laughs> I'm Keith. Nice to meet you. Not really. I'm Shirley Weber, and same. Yep, I sound like a girly version of Rin. Oh, she came with her husband. Oh, yes. Where is he now? Uh, he told me he wanted to go take a smoke, so he might be up on the deck. She looks so much like Nessie. <laughs> uh, hey, what's with the suit? You're on vacation, you know. Oh, let me guess. You're with the men in black? Uh, sorry, I don't got no sunglasses or a neuralizer. Probably. It's a shame, because you probably want something you want to forget, but whatever. Oh, well, it's too bad! Well, let's enjoy our trip, shall we? Bye. Okay, bye. Piano! Can't play it. No, Hello! It's free. It's free. <laughs> yeah. He who plays the piano. <laughs> Need a light? I'm having so much trouble lighting my stupid cancer stick. David's still wearing the same clothes. Thanks. Look at that, where they're bonding over cancer. It's Aww. great. Nice weather today, don't you agree? Sure is. Yeah. I tell you the truth, it's my first time traveling on a ship, and it's really exciting for me. It's my first time traveling. 
Because if you, if you put it together, you know, it's like... Yeah, I just got that. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I thought you were going to make a joke about how this is the fourth time, the third time we've, we've seen Oh, I mean, yeah, that's also a joke. I'm just glad it's nice out. Certainly wouldn't be out smoking in the deck here if it were raining. Keith Barron, detective. David Hoover, detective, huh? Very cool. I always like to watch those old police dramas. Why do I keep saying old? I say old every time. But why the it's suit? Okay. I keep on saying, oh, I can't wait to have a good look, when it's just, I can't wait to have a look at the castle, so. Why the suit? It's okay. like, it's 80 degrees out here. Uh, old habits, never been on a ship except for a job. Wow, you need to live a life. Did, did you come alone? Uh, no, I came with my wife. They're married now, I'm so happy. <laughs> Uh, I was going to invite some friends along, and I'm not, that had thought of her. I was going to invite some friends along, another couple, but the husband ended up in the hospital. Came down with something. Too many chili dogs. <laughs> I know that I was going to read it in a minute and was going to think of that anyway, but... <laughs> he ruined his stomach from eating too many chili dogs. Always been kind of a moron. Either that, or the unicorn ran him through. So I invited another girl and her father. They were always saying they didn't get to go on vacation often. Aww. The Grundlers? Right. They were both really pleased. I'm glad I invited them. Too bad about my friends, though. <coughs> Sorry. Enjoy yourself from the place, then. <laughs> yep. That's the plan. No wonder Sophie and her dad don't go around many vacations often, because... Sophie's too sassy to deal with anyone. <laughs> All right, let's talk to the ponytail oh, jerk. Oh, yes. Oh, God, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's a pattern! Okay, 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 okay. You've almost made it to the first checkpoint. Oh, 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 I'm going to die. Did I just absorb her? <laughs> we just absorbed the child! Oh, this isn't my first time trapped in for years. Here. It's been days. I thought she said he had.